Well, I got a chainsaw here that I really like, but I loaned it out to somebody and it came back with the stud missing, stripped out. So, I'm going to attempt to try to fix this thing. So y'all bear with me. I got to go get a tripod and a lot of work cleaning up here. But I got to get that stud off of that before I could do anything. Y'all stick around. All right, I have to go get a pair of small vice grips and I think that's going to work. I think it's working. That's what I need. That to come on. It is hot out here today. Of course, a washer come off, which is okay. I need to flatten it out because on the saw, on the stud, it has the washer. Let's see if I can. Been so long that since that's been off. Ah, come on. Oh, it comes out the other way. That's right. <laughs> Duh. No, it's supposed to go that way. <laughs> Always something. Put that back on so I don't damage no threads. Let me see if I can get it knocked through. Oh, hit my thumb. There we go. It just stuck. I'm going to have to flatten that washer back out and see where it goes. I'm thinking I might be able to epoxy all of this back in there since plastic was holding it to start with. So, I'll see y'all in a second. Well, I'm back. I'm in the house with the chainsaw. It's raining outside, so I brought it in. Put some cardboard down on the cabinet, island cabinet, and hopefully I can get it fixed and try it out in a couple of days, let the epoxy dry. But I need to do a little cleanup work. I got the stud, it's all cleaned up. What I do with that washer now? <laughs> oh, here it is. I got it sitting in the alcohol. I got it cleaned up pretty good. Now I need to get that hole cleaned, really clean. And I bought this JB Weld to, uh, it's still reinforced epoxy. Dries in four to six hours, but I'm, I wanna let it dry probably 24 hours or longer cures in 15 hours so yeah need to at least let it go 24 hours so I don't know if this washer is going to go back up on there this washer looked like it was made to this stud because that's what it looks like on this stud but how in the world it broke loose I'll never know and it looks like I'm going to have to get some tools Get it back up there. 
where it needs to be. Oh, I think I got it. I think I can. Let's see. Heck, that screwed in too, didn't it? I still got threads in there, but it was stripped. I need to get this washer on there where it needs to be. So I'm on. I'm gonna pause this camera and uh, fight with this a little bit, and I'll be right back with y'all. Oh well, I got it on there the best I could. So I need to get everything in this hole cleaned out. Get some alcohol. Didn't have no dinner. Bring a nail polish remover. <laughs> alcohol work. Let's see if they can get it cleaned out real good. Well, <clears throat> get this epoxy mixed up. I'm gonna make sure it studs clean one more time. It's not now, I got a piece of paper on it. Now, well, time to mix up some epoxy. Not going to take much, that's for sure. The guy, the guy Auto Zone said this is the mixing tray, and it says mixing tray. He said, "Do not use that; that this epoxy will eat right through it." Like always, just use a piece of cardboard. Well, it's just a twist on cap. squeeze out. I don't think they have to be punctured. Well, well. that should be plenty. Get that cleaned off. Well, what's wrong, baby? Ah. 
I don't, you know I'm trying to make a video. Watch your cartoons. Yeah, I got to close back up now. Get this mixed up. Watch out. No, you ain't going outside. It's raining. That don't bother her, does it? I don't like it. I got a mix. Go watch this show. That works. Uh-oh. Well, I thought we lost power there for a minute, but the lights are still on. <laughs> it's kind of thundering out there a little bit. Didn't even know we were supposed to get any rain today. Oh, well, I think that's enough. Better get my fingers cleaned off. Get that all over them threads. I'll be in the trouble. Look at this out of the way. You little turkey. It looks close to me. Well, only time will tell, so I will get back with y'all. It'll be a second for y'all, but it'll be tomorrow for me, and we'll see if that's going to hold. I hope it does. I've had that little saw for about five years. It's a Poland, not a Poland, Echo. It's an Echo saw, and it's been a great little saw, never failed me, starts every time. So we'll see how it goes and hope and pray that it holds. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm back, y'all. 
working on this chainsaw. I think it's finally cured. So, we're going to put her back together and see how it works. I can remember how to do all this. <laughs> Been a while. It changed wearing this sprocket out. Now I gotta readjust this. I think it chain is stripped out, stretched out. I think it's time for a new chain. That's as far as it's going. Oh wow, well, that'll do for now. Well, just. Just don't over tighten these bolts and they're fine. <laughs>
Yep, I think I need a new chain. It's, it's adjusted all the way out now. Fire up and see what happens. That's about all for the chainsaw fix. Only time will tell if that bolt holds, so I'll keep y'all updated. So y'all like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll make y'all some more videos, or Brandy will. <laughs> so y'all have a great day, and we'll see y'all again.